Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists in Switzerland have invented a new kind of remote-controllable micro-robot. The robots were created by scientists at the Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology in Lausanne and Zurich. Their design is based on bacteria, in particular trypanosoma, the bacteria that causes African sleeping sickness. Like that bacteria, the micro-robots are able to swim using a flagellum that is then folded up and hidden when not in use. The robots, which can be electromagnetically remote controlled, are being developed for medical applications, including delivering drugs and performing tasks that could otherwise require invasive surgery, such as clearing clogged arteries. The paper on these micro-robots is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, a team of scientists may have found a way to prevent epilepsy. Neuroscientists from Louisiana State University used a mouse model of epilepsy to test compounds designed to block inflammation in the brain associated with epilepsy. The compounds were invented by scientists at LSU and the University of Alcala in Spain and are therefore called the LAU compounds. According to this study, the LAU compounds are able to block key signaling receptors, decreasing susceptibility to seizures, and preventing the neural damage that can result from epilepsy. Epilepsy affects an estimated 22 million people worldwide. It diminishes quality of life and, in its most severe forms, can be life-threatening. Clinical studies of the LAU compounds will continue in the hopes of developing an effective treatment that doesn't merely suppress seizures, as does most currently available epilepsy medication, but prevents the underlying conditions in the brain which cause the seizures from developing. The study on the LAU compounds is published in Scientific Reports. And finally, scientists have programmed cells to have memory. Scientists working at the Synthetic Biology Group at MIT's Research Laboratory of Electronics have succeeded in creating living cells, E. coli bacteria to be exact, capable of remembering three different inputs and responding as programmed when encountering those inputs again. The cells are called state machine circuits because they exist in a different state depending on the input to which they are responding. The commands are programmed into the cell's memory by selectively altering the cell's DNA using an enzyme called recombinase. Using recombinase allows scientists to turn certain genes off and on as needed and enables the cell to keep a record of its activities, which can then be reviewed by sequencing its DNA. The potential applications for state machines built using these cells include recording and even regulating the progression of diseases, and following the development of stem cells as they mature and differentiate into other types of cells. The paper on state machines is published in the journal Science. Scientists invent remote controllable micro-robots designed after bacteria, new compounds that could prevent epilepsy, and programmable cells with memory. That's the good news. Can we just get through this one last time? Because next week is episode 200 and we're going to do it different. Yeah. Hey, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.